Well, howdy there folks and welcome into today's video, which is a weekend video. So you know if I'm ever recording a video on the weekend, it's because there's some huge news that came out or because uh, I'm, I'm highlighting upcoming earnings. And this video is not an earnings video. This video is about Warren Buffett, somebody I look up to as a, a business legend. And I feel like I learned a, a lot from Warren Buffett and kind of seeing you know what he's done over the past 50, 60, 70 years in the markets, in business overall. And uh, I want to cover something very, very important because Warren Buffett is essentially saying some very strong things about the state of the stock market right now and where he feels the stock market is at. And I want to run through all this with you guys so you can kind of understand what's going on here, right? Now, if you ever heard this before, this is like... One of the most important things you could ever like hear, uh, you know, just some human wisdom. A person's actions will tell you everything you need to know. And uh, I think actions are more important than words. You know, somebody can say something, this or that. But at the end of the day, like, what are, the, what are their actions? Okay. And Warren Buffett is telegraphing certain things with actions he's making out there on what he believes is going to happen in the stock market and what he thinks is going on in the stock market. Right. And so I want to kind of give my perspective on this from a, like a balanced standpoint point of not like super negative, not super positive, just where Warren Buffett's at in my perspective, somebody that's studied this guy for, you know, 12 plus years now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as always, especially on the weekend. I'll ask in returns that you smash that thumbs up button. That's literally it guys. I appreciate you joining me as always. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I think we're getting really dang close to 700,000 subscribers. Hungry Bull, iOS, Android. That's the free app that is the beast. Okay. So Warren Buffett, you know, uh, incredible net worth, incredible businessman, incredible investor. We should absolutely always give Warren Buffett his flowers while he's still here. And even after he's gone, we should always give him his flowers. Guy is, I think, 90 plus years old now. And absolutely a bus business legend and investing legend, right? And uh, just somebody, I think a lot of his life principles and investing principles will last way beyond his life, needless to say, right? And so incredible, incredible guy. And we should always respect him. But there's some things we should keep in mind here. So I, I pulled this off of this, um, you know, essentially ETF website, and I looked at Warren Buffett's returns over the past 25 years, and from what the looks of it, he's actually getting slightly outperformed by basically just a U.S. stocks portfolio, slightly outperformed, right? You know, he's pretty dang close in line with uh, the markets, but still he's getting slightly outperformed, and it seems like, you know... Over the past 20, 25 years, it seems like Warren Buffett has really taken a step back. Warren Buffett seemed to really be in his prime from the 60s through the 80s. And then the 90s came and Warren Buffett, I don't know if he slowly started to age out of the market and kind of exit his prime. But I think there's many various reasons why Warren Buffett kind of started dropping off. Because at the end of the day, if you look at his performance the past 20 plus years, it's not amazing. It's still impressive to be in line with the market because a lot of hedge fund managers can't even do that. But at the end of the day, uh, yeah, you know, this is not amazing performance just flat out, but there's certain things that are going on that I want to explain. Okay. And so when it comes to Warren Buffett, I, I think we should give him ultra levels of respect, but you shouldn't just say he's perfect angel and everything he does and all his actions are the right actions. Cause we saw him not buy aggressively in the Rona Rona crash or coming out of the Rona crash when it was obvious we had bottomed. He still wasn't buying right from an active standpoint, right? In any substantial way. Not only that, uh, we saw him sell a, a lot of stocks at some extremely low prices, including a lot of his airline stocks, right? That it was just kind of like, wow. So not only is he not buying during this massive dip, but he's actually selling at, you know, and then uh, after that, a lot of those stocks ended up doubling, tripling from there, essentially, okay? And so this is just some food for thought here, okay? Now, the, the, big, the big thing here with Warren Buffett's actions, look at this. This just came out. Warren Buffett's cash pile now has hit $149.2 billion. That just came out here a bit ago okay this is essentially warren buffett saying that i is him saying two things okay it could be him saying two things one could be i feel like there's a, a stock market crash coming so i'm gonna pile cash to the sky that could be one thing he's potentially saying the other thing he could be potentially saying with his actions here is I just don't find any good deals and I don't understand how to value some of these, these companies. And so therefore I'm just going to stack cash essentially. Right. And keep in mind, this cash stack would be even higher if it wasn't for the fact that he was buying massive quantities of Berkshire Hathaway stock. If I recall, I think they bought like $20 billion of Berkshire Hathaway stock just this year alone. So 
That number you're seeing there, if it wasn't for the fact that they're buying back so many shares in their own company, that number would be at, you know, like exponentially even higher than what you're seeing there. And so this is some food for thought here where it's like, wow, really, like Warren Buffett really either thinks we're about to have a stock market crash or he just can't find any good deals, right? So uh, look at it from this perspective, right? I, I pulled up here the top 10 biggest market cap companies in the world, right? Uh, top 10, I did 11 here because one of them's Warren Buffett's own company, Berkshire Hathaway. So I want to see the 10 other ones. You know, what is Warren Buffett buying here? Well, is he going to buy Microsoft? No, he hasn't bought Microsoft for the past 25 years, so he's probably not buying that one. He owns a massive position in Apple. He could build the position bigger, but I doubt he wants to because the Ford P's gotten very elevated compared to where it was when he was buying it. So doubt, and the market cap's grown substantially. So doubt he really, you know, wants to aggressively add Apple at all. The, the Saudi oil company, I don't think he really wants to get involved with a Saudi oil company, to be honest. He loves oil and gas stocks, but I don't think he really wants to get involved with a Saudi one. Uh, Google, you know, in terms of like building out a $100 billion or $50 billion position, I don't, I don't see him doing that anytime soon. Google McDougal, he's had an, uh, you know, a, a chance to own Google for a long time. He hasn't bought it, right? I don't think he understands YouTube and the power of, of Google, the search, Android, YouTube, and all the things Google's doing. Amazon, you know, he's been pitched Amazon for the last 20 plus years and has never bought that stock. It's one of those, you know, for him on a 4P basis, it trades way too rich. And for him to wrap his head around what Amazon Web Services is doing, it's just, he's not going to do that, right? Tesla might also give me a break. It's not even a stock he would consider, right? I think he should. Should consider it. I think you should have considered it very strongly, you know, many many years ago. But at the end of the day, like he's not he's not paying. Uh, I don't know what uh, Tesla's forward P is at now, but he's he's not paying that forward P. I can guarantee that. Meta, Facebook. Oh my gosh, this whole metaverse talk that Facebook's now on. Right. First off, he doesn't. Uh, Warren Buffett doesn't even understand social media and uh, all the implications and uh, you know all that opportunity. Never mind this metaverse stuff that Facebook's now pitching and where their business is going. Now you hear every company out there also is talking about metaverse metaverse dude warren buffett's he can't invest in facebook he does not he doesn't get like the metaverse right nvidia dream on no way he's not touching nvidia okay berkshire hathaway obviously he's buying that stock which is his own stock right uh taiwan semiconductor company i don't see that happening tencent no it's just a you know a video game company plus a, another social network plus a lot more there tencent no so if you look at these type of stocks what is Warren Buffett going to buy here? There's really nothing that's really he, that that's his cup of tea. So all these massive companies that he could actually buy big big positions in, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty billion dollar type positions in. These aren't these aren't companies he can understand on a high enough level to say I'm going to go put twenty billion dollars in this stock. I'm going to go put forty billion dollars in this stock. It's just not it's just not his thing, right? And so. This is where you leave in, you, you, you enter the situation with Warren Buffett where it's like he really can't buy any of these stocks because the world's kind of, I don't want to say the world's passed him by, but it's just kind of like these new age companies. It's just, it's way, way too out there for him at the end of the day, okay? And so you look at it from that standpoint and I, I can kind of understand. And then you think about like, like new age companies that are on the come up that are growth companies, whether it be food and drink companies in the plant-based space. I think a lot of these growth companies in the plant-based food space would be Warren Buffett's cup of tea if he had way less capital. But nowadays he's looking to put, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 billion dollars in a company and most of the plant-based food companies are like, you know, under a 10 billion dollar market cap. So it's just he can't even like get into a sector like that. Warren Buffett back in the 60s and 70s, I feel like he would be buying a ton of these companies, right? Uh, an investment like mine that I've been buying the last couple of months, Honest Company, it's a 800 million dollar market cap or whatever. He's not buying that stock even though it's right up his alley. It's a diaper company and a wipe company and beauty products. Like that is a perfect company for Warren Buffett, but he can't even consider a company like that because 800 million dollars that's not even worth his time to look into that, right? So at the end of the day, I think, the, you know, Warren Buffett's just in a situation where I think a lot of the markets just passed him by and he just can't get positions built in a lot of these companies because he doesn't understand these companies well enough and he never has. And if he does, he hasn't understood them in the past, he's probably not going to magically understand them now. And then all these other growth companies that are in these exciting sectors that are, you know, drink, food, uh, you know, household good type companies, right? Consumer packaged good companies, all these up and coming companies, they're too small of market caps for him to even to even be worth his time nowadays. And so he's stuck in this like kind of catch twenty two where it's like, what does he do?
stack cash to the sky, buy back Berkshire stock, and try to find some uh, you know big deal out there like he bought you know Burlington Northern Santa Fe many years ago, the railroad, right? And so he's just stuck in a really, really tough spot. And uh, I think he's probably hoping that there will be some sort of major correction, the stock market a crash, so he can use some of that cash. But honestly, even if there was uh, a crash in the stock market or a major correction, what's he buying? If if a bunch of uh, you know smaller caps get even smaller, they, once again, he's not interested in those. It's too small of money. And what if Google all of a sudden drops 25%, is he going to magically buy Google t- down 25%? No, he's likely not because guess what? He could have bought Google down way more than that last year and he wasn't doing it. So why is he all of a sudden going to do it now? And so at the end of the day, uh, I think Warren Buffett's just in a, a tough spot where I think the market's kind of passed him by and his capital's gotten so big that he can't take advantage of new opportunities in the market. And so I think that is truly the truth why he's holding so much dang cash. But I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section, as always, on your perspective. Also, just so you know, the private stock group, we got the deal of the century coming on Black Friday. So if you want to be notified as soon as that deal drops, check out pin comment down there. That's uh, basically so you get enter in your info and we'll shoot you the deal as soon as it drops. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Much love and have a great day.